What's up, folks? David Soto Jr. here. And Rusty. Say hi, Rusty. Well, don't say hi then. Anyways, so today I got a tweet and an email from a television producer. Can you fucking believe that? I guess it's the second time this has happened this year. The first time was a survival show where I was going to be dropped off and I was going to have to pick somebody um, to do this with. So if you heard of the show alone, they were going to do like a uh, a two-person version of alone. So first person that came to mind, of course, was my little brother. And then uh, he was going to have to give up cigarettes probably. So that would have been a stressful situation. And then neither of us really have practiced. We... we we know of a lot of uh, survival skills, and we watch a lot of survival shows, but we've never really spent time out putting these things into practice. Um, so I told that TV producer that I was going to have to pass because I didn't want to go on TV and look like a damn fool, which maybe I should have. Maybe I should have went and looked like a fool. But, I mean, I've never started a fire from anything except matches. You know, or a cigarette lighter. But ends up, I go watch a show, and they can take fire starters with them. They can take ten things. Like I had no idea. I was like, now that I think about it, I shouldn't have passed on that. Maybe I don't know. That that producer was like, this is not a place to test your skills. You have to already have them. And I was like, well, shit. Then I'm not the one you're looking for. I don't know. It just didn't fit right. I, I would have been taking it not because, because of the opportunity. Too far. Too far. That's better. I would have uh, taken up. I would have just been doing it to get on TV or maybe make a paycheck. They pay, they pay like $2,000 uh, $2, a week stipend while you're out there. And then if you win, you win a gazillion dollars or something. Anyways. So that was the first time. Today, because I liked somebody's post that was hashtag van life, this person reached out to me, this television producer reached out to me and asked me if I would be interested in being like the expert or the consultant um, for a van life show, right? So you ever think about how on like other reality TV shows, there's the expert they bring in, the expert carpenter or the expert uh, fashion designer or whatever. I'm going to, I would be the expert van lifer and I would help a couple um, pick and choose their van, buy the van, uh, get it set up so that uh, it'd be road ready and I guess be their little advisor and help them get through all the challenges that come from starting life on the road. That would be cool. That would be so cool. Especially since that's kind of what I want to do. I want to help people, you know, uh, get rid of their, leave their 9 to 5 lifestyle and do whatever I want. Whether it's van life or whether it's travel or whether it's pursuing a career that doesn't pay so much. This fool is getting on my nerves. We're working on heel and working on a command. It's not a command, is it? It's too far. Too far. Too far. That's better. Anyways. So I got I might be on TV. Who knows? I had a good phone call. I had a good phone call with a uh I, I hate when I see overweight people running because I'm pretty sure they're not running because they love running. I'm pretty sure they're running because they want to lose weight and that's probably the last thing they need to be doing. Anyways. Oh, where was I? Van life. Anyway, that's what I want to do. I want to help people achieve their goal. And when they listen to, let's say that like the goal is to lose weight and they listen to popular um, conventional advice, conventional wisdom, popular wisdom, they'll do stuff that's 
not going to help them at all. Like if you're obese and you go jogging, it's not going to help you. Um, so I want to help people, and I'll be damned if I got a call to do exactly what I want to do. Pretty sure he has to poop. That's why he's not paying attention to me and listening. Anyways, the other thing I want to talk about was... I'm not going to get political or presidential, whatever. But the other thing I'll talk about is illegal immigration. It's not undocumented aliens, whatever you want to call it. But that's not such a bad thing. This country is based off people coming here. I, I made a comment to somebody like, this country was founded by people who came here without permission. And this, somebody said, well, it wasn't a law then. Now it's a law. So I just don't understand. My, me, myself, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for illegal immigrants. You know, I'm Mexican-American. That means the Mexican part came from Mexico. And they didn't get visas. They didn't have sufficient money in their bank account in order to get a visa. They couldn't pay the extra money required to get a visa. They just came here. And they made a life. And they got work permit, work v they got, uh, they got green cards. And they worked, even though they were undocumented or unnatural, unnaturalized citizens, even though they came to the country illegally, they contributed to this country. They paid taxes, they paid social security, they had a social security number. That's the thing a lot of people don't understand. They think there are a lot of people who come here and work for cash. There are a lot of Americans that work for cash too. But a lot of people that come here and work for cash and don't pay taxes, that's true. There are a lot more who come here on visas, right? They, they have visas, they have uh, student visa or work visa that expire so their documentation is is good that they get a job they'll pay taxes they'll contribute to the to, to society they just have expired visas it doesn't mean they're doing drugs or selling drugs or raping people their visas expired and these people live in the country for the rest of their lives with us with with paying everything that every other naturalized citizen pays as far as taxes go. But all the people see are the day laborers and um, I mean there's, there's Canadians here that are undocumented that work. It's not just Mexicans. Anyways. I don't know if I got, should have talked about that. Why not? My fucking video journal. Anyways, it looks like eight minutes. That's a long one. I don't know if I'll edit anything out. But that's it. That's it for a day. Me and Rush are taking a walk. He's going to find a perfect place to poop. And it's so far it's not been anywhere we've pa passed. And uh, But other than that, that's it. That's it. I'm going to be on TV, fool. All right, peace out.